Welcome to Storytime Haven, where enchanting tales come to life today, we embark on an extraordinary journey into the realms of fire and ice. Following the epic adventure of Princess Alara and Prince Kyle, get ready to be swept away by magic, courage, and the bonds that unite us all. The enchanted forest stretched out before Princess Alara like a vast living tapestry. Towering trees whispered ancient secrets as sunlight filtered through their lush foliage, dappling the forest floor with golden light. Alara's heart raced with excitement as she stepped deeper into the verdant realm, her senses alive with the promise of adventure. Every rustle of leaves, every chirp of a hidden bird, seemed to beckon her further into the heart of the forest. She couldn't resist the call, her curiosity driving her forward with each step. Little did she know, she was about to stumble upon a creature unlike any she had ever encountered. As she wandered deeper into the forest, Alara's ears caught the sound of soft music drifting through the trees. Intrigued, she followed the melodic strains until she reached a clearing bathed in ethereal light. There, seated beneath the branches of an ancient oak tree, was the source of the enchanting music, a creature with shimmering wings and eyes that sparkled like stars. The creature looked up as Alara approached, its gaze filled with a mixture of curiosity and wonder. "'Greetings, princess,' it said in a voice like the gentle rustle of leaves. "'What brings you to our forest?' Alara's heart skipped a beat at the sight of the creature. She had heard tales of such beings. Guardians of the forest, protectors of its secrets. "'I come in search of adventure,' she replied, her voice tinged with excitement. "'And perhaps a bit of magic.' The creature smiled, its wings shimmering in the dappled sunlight. You have come to the right place, princess, it said, for this forest is filled with both adventure and magic for those who are brave enough to seek it. With a graceful gesture, the creature beckoned Alara to join it beneath the tree. As they sat together, the forest seemed to come alive around them, the air humming with the energy of hidden wonders. For hours they talked, sharing stories of distant lands and fantastical creatures. And as the sun began to dip below the horizon, casting the forest in a warm golden glow, Alara realized that she had found not only adventure, but a true friend in the heart of the enchanted forest. With a grateful smile, she bid farewell to her newfound companion, knowing that she would return to the forest again and again, drawn by the promise of magic and the beauty of its secrets. And as she made her way back to the castle, the echoes of the forest's enchantment followed her, filling her heart with joy and wonder. The frozen lake lay before Prince Kael like a vast, shimmering expanse of glass, its icy surface reflecting the pale light of the moon above. With each step, the cold seeped through his boots, sending shivers down his spine. But Kael pressed on, his determination outweighing the biting chill of the winter night. Legend spoke of a powerful artifact hidden beneath the frozen depths of the lake, a relic said to hold the key to unlocking the ancient magic of the Ice Kingdom. And Kael, brave and bold, had vowed to retrieve it at any cost. As he ventured farther onto the ice, the silence of the night was broken only by the soft crunch of snow beneath his feet. The air grew colder, thick with the promise of danger lurking just beyond the horizon. But Kael refused to falter, his eyes fixed on the distant shore where the artifact awaited. Suddenly a low rumble echoed across the frozen landscape, sending a shiver of dread down Kael's spine. He glanced over his shoulder to see a massive figure emerging from the shadows, a dragon of ice and snow, its eyes gleaming with malice. With a roar that shook the very foundations of the earth, the dragon lunged forward, its massive wings beating against the frigid air. Kale knew he had but one chance to claim the artifact and escape with his life. Summoning all his strength, he raced across the ice, his heart pounding in his chest as the dragon's icy breath nipped at his heels. With a final burst of speed, he reached the shore and plunged into the icy waters below. For what felt like an eternity, Kael fought against the freezing currents, his lungs burning with the need for air. But just as he felt his strength waning, his fingers brushed against something smooth and solid, a glimmering object nestled within the icy depths. With a surge of determination, Kael grasped the artifact in his hands and kicked for the surface, breaking through the frozen veil with a triumphant cry. And as he emerged onto the shore, the dragon's furious roar echoed behind him, its power diminished in the face of Kael's bravery. With the artifact safely in his possession, Kael knew that he had faced his greatest challenge and emerged victorious. And as he made his way back to the warmth of the castle, the memory of his daring quest burned bright in his heart, a testament to his courage and resolve. 
The night was alive with the flickering glow of a thousand stars as Princess Alara twirled gracefully across the courtyard, her skirt swirling around her like a cascade of flames. With each step, she felt the music coursing through her veins, filling her with a sense of exhilaration she had never known before. As the music swelled to a crescendo, Alara raised her arms to the heavens, her eyes sparkling with the thrill of the dance. And in that moment, something within her stirred, a warmth that started deep in her chest and spread like wildfire through her body. At first, Alara thought it was merely the heat of the dance, the rush of adrenaline coursing through her veins. But as she spun faster and faster, she realized that it was something more, something powerful and primal, waiting to be unleashed. With a flick of her wrist, Alara sent a burst of flame shooting into the night sky, illuminating the courtyard with its brilliant glow. Gasps of astonishment filled the air as her fellow dancers looked on in awe, their eyes wide with wonder. But Alara paid them no mind, her focus consumed by the flames that danced at her command. With each movement, she felt her power growing stronger, more potent than she could have ever imagined. And as the music reached its climax, Alara closed her eyes and let herself be consumed by the inferno raging within her. For in that moment, she knew that she was no longer just a princess. She was a force of nature, a beacon of fire and light in a world consumed by darkness. And as she opened her eyes to the cheers of the crowd, Alara knew that her life would never be the same again. For she had discovered the true power of her fire, and nothing would ever extinguish its flame. The frosty citadel loomed before Prince Kale like a fortress carved from the very heart of winter itself. Its towering spires glistened with frost, while icy winds howled through its ancient halls. But Kale was undaunted, his determination burning bright despite the biting cold. With each step, the prince felt the weight of his responsibility pressing down upon him. For he knew that within the citadel lay the trials that would test his courage, his strength, and his loyalty to the Ice Kingdom. As he crossed the threshold into the citadel's icy embrace, Kale was greeted by a series of challenges unlike any he had ever faced. Frozen corridors twisted and turned, leading him deeper into the heart of the fortress, while treacherous traps lay hidden at every turn. But Kale pressed on, his eyes fixed on the prize that awaited him at the citadel summit, a legendary artifact said to hold the power to unite the Ice Kingdom under his rule. With each challenge he conquered, Kale felt his resolve growing stronger, his determination unwavering in the face of adversity. And as he finally reached the Citadel's summit, he knew that he had proven himself worthy of the title that awaited him. With a triumphant cry, Kale claimed the artifact as his own, its icy surface gleaming in the pale light of the moon. And as he descended from the frosty Citadel, his heart filled with pride and purpose, knowing that he was one step closer to fulfilling his destiny as the future ruler of the Ice Kingdom. Hidden deep within the heart of the ancient library, Princess Alara poured over dusty tomes and faded scrolls, her fingers tracing the intricate patterns of the Phoenix Order. For weeks she had been consumed by the quest to unlock the secrets of her past, to understand the power that burned within her like a smoldering ember. As she delved deeper into the lore of the Phoenix Order, Alara's eyes widened with wonder and awe. Here, in the pages of these ancient texts, lay the key to unlocking her true potential a power as ancient and as enduring as the flames themselves. With each revelation, Alara felt a sense of clarity wash over her, as if pieces of a puzzle were falling into place. She learned of the sacred bond between the phoenix and those chosen to carry its flame, of the trials and tribulations faced by those who dared to wield its power. But most importantly, she learned of her own place within the ancient order as the long-awaited Princess of Fire, destined to rise from the ashes and bring light to a world consumed by darkness. With newfound purpose burning in her heart, Alara emerged from the library, her mind ablaze with possibilities. She knew that her journey was far from over, that there were still challenges to face and trials to overcome. But armed with the knowledge of her true destiny, she was ready to face whatever lay ahead. And as she gazed up at the starry sky above, Ilara felt a sense of peace settle over her, knowing that she was no longer alone in her quest. For she was the Princess of Fire, a beacon of hope in a world filled with shadows, and her flame would burn bright for all eternity. The halls of the Ice Kingdom echoed with whispers of treachery as Prince Kale paced restlessly, his mind consumed by the weight of betrayal. For weeks, rumors had swirled through the castle of the Ice Queen's clandestine dealings, of her secret alliances forged in shadow and ice. As he confronted the truth of the Ice Queen's betrayal, 
Kale felt a sense of betrayal that cut deeper than any sword. For she was not only his queen, but his trusted advisor, his confidante in times of strife. And yet she had chosen to cast aside her loyalty in pursuit of power and glory. With a heavy heart, Kale knew that he could not stand idly by and watch as his kingdom fell into the clutches of darkness. He rallied his allies, marshalling his forces for the battle that lay ahead, knowing that the fate of the Ice Kingdom hung in the balance. But even as he prepared for war, Kale could not shake the sense of doubt that gnawed at his soul. For how could he hope to defeat an enemy who lurked within his own ranks, who wielded power born of deceit and betrayal? As the Day of Reckoning drew near, Kale steeled himself for the battle to come, his resolve unwavering in the face of adversity. For he knew that the true measure of a leader lay not in the strength of his sword, but in the strength of his heart. And so, with courage and determination burning bright within him, Prince Kale marched forth to meet his destiny, ready to face the Ice Queen's betrayal head-on, and reclaim the throne that was rightfully his. The Firestone Amulet, a legendary artifact whispered of in tales of old, said to hold the power to command flames with but a mere thought. For Princess Alara, it was more than just a story. It was the key to unlocking her true potential as the Princess of Fire. With determination burning bright in her heart, Alara set out on her quest to retrieve the Firestone Amulet, her mind ablaze with visions of the power it could bestow upon her. But little did she know, the path to the amulet would be fraught with danger and uncertainty. As she journeyed through the rugged terrain of the kingdom, Alara encountered challenges unlike any she had faced before. From treacherous mountain passes to dark, foreboding forests, each step brought her closer to her goal, yet further from the safety of the castle walls. But Ilara was undaunted, her spirit unyielding in the face of adversity. With each obstacle she overcame, her resolve grew stronger, her determination unwavering in the pursuit of her destiny. Finally, after days of travel, Alara reached the ancient ruins where the Firestone Amulet lay hidden, its power calling out to her across the ages. But as she approached the crumbling stone archway that marked the entrance to the ruins, she sensed that she was not alone. With caution in her step, Alara ventured deeper into the heart of the ruins, her senses alert for any sign of danger. And then, she saw it, a glimmer of light emanating from the darkness, the unmistakable glow of the Firestone Amulet. With a steady hand, Alara reached out and grasped the amulet, feeling its power surge through her veins like a raging inferno. And as she held it aloft, she knew that she had unlocked the key to her destiny, that she was destined for greatness as the Princess of Fire. With the Firestone Amulet in her possession, Alara returned to the castle, her heart filled with pride and purpose. For she knew that with its power at her command, she would be unstoppable, a force to be reckoned with in the battle against darkness. The blizzard raged with an unforgiving fury, its icy winds whipping through the frozen landscape like the lash of a whip. Yet Prince Kale pressed on, his determination unwavering in the face of nature's wrath. For he knew that the safety of his people depended on his courage and resolve. With each step, Kale struggled against the biting cold, his breath forming frosty clouds in the frigid air. But he refused to be deterred, his mind focused on the task at hand, to rescue his people from the clutches of the Ice Queen's minions and bring them to safety. As he trudged through the knee-deep snow, Kel's senses were alert for any sign of danger. Yet the blizzard seemed determined to thwart his every move, obscuring his vision and muffling the sound of his footsteps. But Kale was undaunted, his heart burning with the fire of determination. With each passing moment, he drew closer to his goal, his thoughts consumed by the plight of his people and the need to protect them from harm. And then, through the swirling snow, Kale caught sight of the Ice Queen's minions, a horde of fearsome creatures, their eyes gleaming with malice as they advanced upon his people. With a cry of defiance, Kale charged into battle, his sword flashing in the pale light of the blizzard. For hours he fought against the relentless tide of enemies, his strength flagging but his resolve unwavering. And then, just as all seemed lost, Kale felt a surge of power coursing through his veins, a power born of courage and determination, of the fierce love he bore for his people. With newfound strength, Kael fought on, driving back the Ice Queen's minions with each swing of his sword. And as the blizzard finally began to wane, he stood victorious amidst the snow-covered battlefield, his people safe at last from the wrath of the storm. The roar of the dragon echoed through the valley, sending a shiver down Princess Alara's spine. 
She stood before the towering beast, her heart pounding with equal parts fear and determination, for she knew that this was no ordinary adversary. This was a test of her courage and strength like none she had ever faced before. As the dragon loomed over her, its scales glinting in the sunlight, Ilara felt a surge of adrenaline coursing through her veins. She knew that she had but one chance to prove herself worthy of the title of Princess of Fire, to show the world that she was more than just a royal heir. She was a warrior, ready to face any challenge that came her way. With a deep breath, Ilara stepped forward, her eyes locked on the dragon's fiery gaze. She could feel the heat of its breath on her skin, could hear the thunderous beat of its wings as it prepared to strike. But Alara stood her ground, her resolve unshakable in the face of danger. With a graceful motion, she drew forth the flames that lay dormant within her, summoning them to her side like loyal companions ready to do her bidding. The dragon lunged forward, its claws slashing through the air with deadly precision. But Alara was ready, her reflexes honed by years of training and discipline. With a swift movement, she dodged the creature's attack, her movements as fluid as the dance of flames. And then, with a cry of defiance, Alara unleashed the full force of her fire magic upon the dragon, her flames engulfing the creature in a blazing inferno. For moments that stretched into eternity, the two adversaries clashed fire and fury warring against each other in a battle for supremacy. But in the end, it was Alara who emerged victorious, her courage and strength shining like a beacon in the darkness. With a triumphant roar, she watched as the dragon retreated into the depths of the valley, defeated but not destroyed. As she stood amidst the smoldering ruins of their battlefield, Alara knew that she had passed the dragon's challenge, proving herself worthy of her title and her destiny as the Princess of Fire. And with her head held high, she turned and continued on her journey, ready to face whatever trials lay ahead with the same fierce determination that had brought her victory this day. The icy winds whipped through the barren landscape as Prince Kale stood alone atop the frozen cliffs, his thoughts consumed by the chilling truth he had uncovered about his past. For years he had lived in ignorance, shielded from the harsh realities of the world by the walls of the castle. But now, as he gazed out across the desolate expanse before him, he could no longer deny the truth that lay hidden within the depths of his own heart. With a heavy sigh, Cal recalled the words of the ancient seer who had revealed the truth to him, that he was not the rightful heir to the throne, but a mere pawn in the Ice Queen's sinister game of power and deception. The revelation had struck him like a dagger to the heart, shattering the illusions of his childhood and leaving him adrift in a sea of doubt and uncertainty. But even as he grappled with the weight of his newfound knowledge, Kale knew that he could not afford to dwell on the past, for the safety of his kingdom depended on his strength and resolve, on his ability to rise above the shadows of doubt and lead his people to victory against the forces of darkness that threatened to engulf them. With a steely determination burning in his heart, Kael made a vow to himself and to his kingdom, that he would do whatever it took to protect his people, even if it meant sacrificing his own happiness and desires in the process. And so, with his resolve renewed, Kael turned his gaze back towards the castle. His mind already racing with plans to thwart the Ice Queen's schemes and reclaim his rightful place as the true ruler of the Ice Kingdom. For he knew that the path ahead would be fraught with danger and uncertainty, but he also knew that he would face it head on, with courage and determination, until the last breath left his frozen lips. The kingdom lay shrouded in darkness, its people huddled together in fear as the shadows of despair threatened to engulf them. But amidst the gloom, Princess Alara stood tall her eyes burning bright with determination, for she knew that even in the darkest of times there was still hope, a flickering flame that refused to be extinguished. And it was this flame that Alara vowed to kindle in the hearts of her people, to rally them together against the encroaching darkness. With a voice as strong as steel, Alara addressed her people, her words ringing out across the crowded square like a clarion call to arms. She spoke of courage and resilience, of the strength that lay within each and every one of them, waiting to be unleashed. As she spoke, Alara could feel the energy shifting around her, the despair of the crowd giving way to a glimmer of hope. And then, as if by magic, a single torch was lit, a beacon of light in the sea of darkness. With a cry of triumph, Alara seized the torch and held it aloft, its flames dancing in the night like stars in the sky. And in that moment, she knew that the flame of hope had been kindled in the hearts of her people, a light that would guide them through even the darkest of nights. With the torch held high, 
Alara led her people through the streets of the kingdom, their voices raised in song and defiance against the forces of darkness. For they knew that as long as the flame of hope burned bright within them, they would never be truly defeated. And as they marched on into the night, Ilara felt a sense of pride swelling within her chest, knowing that she had brought light to a world consumed by shadows, and that together. They would emerge victorious against the darkness that threatened to consume them. The walls of ice towered around Prince Kale, their frigid embrace sending shivers down his spine. Trapped within the icy confines of the fortress, he felt the weight of his imprisonment pressing down upon him like a heavy burden. With each passing moment, Kale's mind raced with thoughts of doubt and despair. How had he ended up here confined within a prison of his own making? And more importantly, how would he ever find a way to escape? As he paced the narrow confines of his cell, Kale's thoughts turned to the events that had led him to this point. Betrayed by those he had trusted, cast aside like a pawn in the Ice Queen's twisted game of power and deceit, he had found himself imprisoned within this frozen hell. But even as doubt gnawed at his soul, Kale refused to succumb to despair. With a steely determination burning in his heart, he vowed to find a way to escape his icy prison and reclaim his rightful place as the true ruler of the Ice Kingdom. With each passing day, Kael searched for any sign of weakness in the fortress's icy walls, any glimmer of hope that might lead to his freedom. But the fortress was as unyielding as the ice from which it was carved, its secrets locked away behind impenetrable barriers. Yet still, Kael refused to give up hope, for he knew that as long as he drew breath there was always a chance for redemption, a chance to overcome the darkness that threatened to consume him. And so, with courage and determination burning bright within him, Kale resolved to face his greatest fears and doubts head on. Knowing that only by confronting them could he ever hope to find a way out of the icy prison that held him captive. In the heart of the ancient forest, Princess Ilara stood amidst the flickering flames of a roaring bonfire, her eyes closed as she focused on the heat that enveloped her. For days, she had wandered through the wilderness, seeking solace in the embrace of nature, searching for answers to the questions that plagued her restless mind. As the flames danced around her, Ilara felt a sense of peace wash over her, as if the fire itself were whispering secrets of the universe into her ear. And then, in a sudden burst of light and heat, she felt a presence stirring within her, a power as ancient and enduring as the flames themselves. With a cry of triumph, Ilara surrendered herself to the fire, allowing its transformative energy to consume her completely. In that moment, she felt herself being reborn, a phoenix rising from the ashes stronger and more determined than ever before. As the flames subsided, Alara opened her eyes to find herself surrounded by a circle of glowing embers, their warmth a comforting reminder of the power that now coursed through her veins. She knew that she had undergone a profound transformation, that she had emerged from the fire reborn, a true daughter of the Phoenix Order, ready to face whatever challenges lay ahead with courage and determination. With newfound purpose burning bright within her heart, Alara set out from the forest, her mind clear and her spirit unyielding in the face of adversity. For she knew that she had been given a second chance, a chance to embrace her destiny as the Princess of Fire to bring light to a world consumed by darkness. And as she walked beneath the starry sky, Alara felt a sense of peace settle over her, knowing that she had finally found the strength and courage to face whatever trials lay ahead. Armed with the power of the Phoenix burning within her soul, the frostbite forest stretched out before Prince Kale like a vast, frozen labyrinth, its snow-laden branches reaching out like skeletal fingers to grasp at unwary travelers. Yet Kale pressed on, his determination unwavering despite the treacherous terrain that lay ahead. With each step he felt the icy chill of the forest seeping through his clothes, gnawing at his bones with relentless ferocity. But Kale refused to be deterred, his eyes scanning the horizon for any sign of danger as he navigated through the twisting maze of trees. As he ventured deeper into the heart of the forest, Kale's senses were alert for any sign of the creatures that lurked within its icy depths. For he knew that in the frostbite forest, danger could strike from any direction. A pack of hungry wolves, a sudden avalanche, or even the icy grip of frostbite itself. But Kale was undaunted, his mind focused on the task at hand, to traverse the forest and reach the other side where safety and warmth awaited. With each obstacle he overcame, his resolve grew stronger, his determination unwavering in the face of adversity. And then, 
Just as he thought he could go no further, Kael emerged from the depths of the forest, blinking in the pale light of the sun as he beheld the sight of open plains stretching out before him. With a triumphant cry he quickened his pace, knowing that he had conquered the frostbite forest and emerged victorious against the odds. As he left the forest behind him, Kael felt a sense of pride swelling within his chest, knowing that he had faced his greatest challenge and emerged stronger for it. For in the heart of the frostbite forest he had found not only danger and despair, but also the strength and courage to overcome it, a testament to the indomitable spirit that burned within him like a flame in the darkness. The skies darkened as the sound of thunder echoed in the distance, heralding the approach of an impending invasion upon Princess Alara's kingdom. With a steely resolve, she stood at the forefront of her people, her eyes ablaze with determination as she prepared to unleash the full force of her fire magic. As the first wave of enemy forces descended upon the kingdom, Alara raised her hands to the heavens, summoning forth the flames that lay dormant within her. With a fierce cry, she unleashed a torrent of fire upon the invaders, the flames dancing and swirling around her like a living entity. With each wave of her hand, the firestorm grew stronger, engulfing the enemy forces in a blaze of heat and fury. The ground shook beneath their feet as the flames licked at their armor, driving them back with a force they could not hope to withstand. But even as she fought, Elara felt the weight of the battle pressing down upon her, the strain of wielding such immense power threatening to overwhelm her. Yet she refused to falter, her determination unwavering in the face of adversity. With a final surge of energy, Alara unleashed one last blast of fire upon the enemy forces, driving them back with a force that seemed to shake the very foundations of the earth. And as the smoke cleared and the dust settled, she knew that her kingdom was safe once more, protected by the firestorm's fury. As she surveyed the battlefield before her, Alara felt a sense of pride swelling within her chest, knowing that she had stood strong in the face of danger and emerged victorious against all odds. For in that moment, she had proven herself not only as the Princess of Fire, but as a true leader, a beacon of hope in a world consumed by darkness. Prince Kale stepped into the Grand Hall, his breath frosting in the chilly air as he surveyed the gathering of ice sorcerers before him. The room was alive with the crackle of frost and the whisper of icy winds, a testament to the power that lay within each of those gathered. As he made his way through the crowd, Kale could feel the weight of their gazes upon him, their eyes cold and calculating as they assessed the newcomer in their midst. But he paid them no mind, his focus fixed on the task at hand, to find allies in his quest to overthrow the Ice Queen and reclaim his rightful place as the true ruler of the Ice Kingdom. With each introduction, Kale felt a sense of hope stirring within him, as he discovered kindred spirits among the gathered sorcerers, men and women who shared his desire to see the Ice Queen's reign of terror brought to an end. Together, they would stand against her tyranny, united in their determination to restore peace and justice to the kingdom. But even as they planned their next move, Kale knew that the path ahead would not be easy. The Ice Queen was a formidable adversary, her power vast and her allies many. Yet he refused to be daunted by the challenges that lay ahead, knowing that with the support of his newfound allies. He stood a chance of emerging victorious against the forces of darkness that threatened to consume them all. And so, as the gathering came to a close and the sorcerers dispersed into the night, Kael felt a sense of purpose burning bright within him, knowing that he was not alone in his fight against the Ice Queen. For in the icy conclave he had found not only allies but friends, companions who would stand by his side as they marched forth to confront their shared destiny, ready to face whatever trials lay ahead with courage and determination. Princess Alara stood at the edge of the cliff, her heart pounding with anticipation as she gazed up at the sky. Above her, the majestic form of a phoenix soared, its feathers ablaze with the fiery hues of the setting sun. With a graceful swoop, the mythical bird descended, its outstretched wings catching the last rays of daylight as it landed before her. With a sense of awe and reverence, Alara approached the magnificent creature, her hand outstretched in a gesture of friendship and trust. And to her amazement, the phoenix bowed its head in response its eyes shining with a wisdom as ancient as time itself. With a single wordless command, Alara mounted the phoenix's back, her fingers tangling in its fiery feathers as they lifted off into the sky. As they soared through the clouds, Alara felt a sense of freedom unlike anything she had ever known, the wind rushing past her like a symphony of freedom and exhilaration. Below them, the kingdom stretched out like a patchwork quilt, its fields and forests bathed in the soft light of twilight. 
But Elara had no time to marvel at the beauty of the world below, for she knew that her people needed her now more than ever. With a cry of determination, Alara urged the phoenix onward, leading her people into battle against the forces of darkness that threatened to engulf them. With each beat of the phoenix's wings, they drew closer to victory, their spirits soaring high on the wings of hope and courage. And as they descended upon the enemy forces like a fiery comet streaking across the sky, Alara felt a sense of pride swelling within her chest. For she knew that she had led her people to victory, not with the strength of her sword, but with the power of her heart and the courage of her convictions. As the last echoes of battle faded into the night, Alara and the phoenix soared back into the sky, their hearts filled with triumph and joy. For they knew that no matter what challenges lay ahead, they would face them together, united in their quest for peace and justice for all. Prince Kale stood before the towering gates of the Ice Queen's fortress, his heart pounding with a mixture of anticipation and trepidation. This was the moment he had been preparing for, the culmination of years of struggle and sacrifice. For today, he would challenge the Ice Queen for control of the Frozen Throne, and the fate of the Ice Kingdom hung in the balance. As the gates creaked open before him, Kale felt a surge of adrenaline coursing through his veins. The air was thick with tension as he stepped into the Grand Hall, his eyes locking with those of the Ice Queen who sat upon her frozen throne, her gaze cold and calculating. With a steely resolve, Kale raised his sword, the metal gleaming in the dim light of the hall. I challenge you, he declared, his voice ringing out with a clarity that belied the turmoil within his soul. For control of the frozen throne and the future of our kingdom, the Ice Queen's lips curled into a cruel smile as she rose to her feet, her own blade flashing in the cold light. So be it, she replied, her voice like ice on the wind. Let us settle this once and for all. And with that, the battle began, a clash of swords and sorcery that echoed through the halls of the fortress like thunder. Kale fought with a fierce determination, his every strike fueled by the memory of all those who had suffered under the Ice Queen's rule. But the Ice Queen was a formidable adversary, her magic as cold and unyielding as the ice itself. With each spell she cast, Kyle felt the chill of death creeping closer threatening to engulf him in its icy embrace. Yet still, he fought on, his spirit unbroken despite the odds stacked against him. For he knew that he fought not only for himself, but for the future of his kingdom and all those who called it home. And then, in a final desperate gambit, Kale unleashed the full force of his power, a torrent of fire and ice that engulfed the Ice Queen in a blazing inferno. With a cry of triumph, he watched as she fell to the ground, defeated at last. As he stood victorious amidst the wreckage of the battle, Kyle felt a sense of peace settling over him, a peace born of the knowledge that he had fulfilled his destiny and reclaimed his rightful place as the true ruler of the Ice Kingdom. And as he ascended the frozen throne, his heart filled with hope for the future, he knew that the kingdom would flourish once more under his just and compassionate rule. For the frozen throne was his and he would wield its power with wisdom and grace ensuring that the darkness of the past would never again threaten to engulf the land. Princess Alara and Prince Kale stood at the edge of the Great Divide, the vast expanse of frozen tundra stretching out before them. For centuries, fire and ice had been bitter enemies, locked in a never-ending struggle for dominance. But now, as they gazed across the divide at each other, they knew that the time had come to set aside their differences and forge a new path forward. With a shared nod of determination, Alara and Kyle stepped forward, their hands outstretched in a gesture of friendship and reconciliation. For they knew that only by joining forces could they hope to bring peace and prosperity to their kingdoms, to unite fire and ice in a bond that would withstand the test of time. As they clasped hands, a surge of energy passed between them, a spark of hope igniting in their hearts. With each step they took, the great divide seemed to shrink before them, the barriers of old crumbling away like ice in the warmth of the sun. Together, Alara and Kel journeyed through the frozen wastes, their kingdom standing united behind them. With each passing day, they worked tirelessly to bridge the gap between fire and ice, to build a future where all could live in harmony and peace. And as they reached the end of their journey, they stood together at the summit of the Great Divide. Their kingdom spread out before them, like a patchwork quilt. With a sense of pride and accomplishment, they raised their voices in a triumphant cry, heralding the dawn of a new era, a time of unity, of cooperation, and of mutual respect. For the flame and the ice had come together at last, bound by the eternal promise of friendship and understanding. And as they looked out upon their united kingdoms, Elara and Kael knew that, together, 
they would build a future brighter than any flame, stronger than any ice, a future where the flame eternal would burn bright in the hearts of all who called their kingdoms home. The night had been long, the darkness seeming to stretch on forever as Princess Alara and Prince Kale stood side by side, watching as the first light of dawn crept over the horizon. For so long they had been bound by the struggles of the past, their kingdoms divided by the icy grip of conflict. But now, as they stood together in the fading darkness, they knew that a new day was dawning, a day filled with hope, promise, and the endless possibilities of a future yet unwritten. With a sense of anticipation building within them, Alara and Kale exchanged a glance, their eyes meeting in silent agreement. For they knew that the time had come to leave the shadows of the past behind them and embark on a new journey together, a journey filled with adventure, discovery, and the chance to build a future brighter than any flame, stronger than any ice. As they stepped forward into the light of the new day, Alara and Kael felt a sense of freedom washing over them, as if the weight of the world had been lifted from their shoulders. For they knew that no matter what trials lay ahead, they would face them together, united in their quest for peace, prosperity, and the enduring bond that had formed between them. With the sun rising high in the sky, Alara and Kael set out into the world, their hearts filled with hope and excitement for the adventures that awaited them. For they knew that as long as they had each other, there was nothing they could not overcome, not darkness, nor despair, nor the endless night that had once threatened to consume them both. And as they walked hand in hand into the bright new day, Alara and Kale knew that their journey was just beginning, a journey that would take them to the farthest reaches of the world and beyond as they forged a destiny together that would be remembered for generations to come. And so, dear listeners, our tale of flames and frost comes to a close. But fear not, for the adventures of Princess Alara and Prince Kyle will forever live on in our hearts. Join us again soon at Storytime Haven, where more captivating stories await. Until then, may your dreams be filled with wonder and magic. Good night.